Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Arun and today we're going to be talking about the vaccines and specifically the COVID-19 vaccines. Alright, so the COVID-19 has been now for quite some time now. It has trended on every platform, it has distorted the world, it has crashed economies, it has uh, just broken the stock market. And uh, that's why governments around the world became very desperate to curb this virus and the uh, vaccines were being funded, vaccine research was funded and the vaccines have been developed. Hello guys, my name is Amarachi and basically the vaccine is a weakened version of a virus which is administered into the body and it stimulates the immune system to produce antibodies which will then fight against those diseases with the next time the person is infected. So since the beginning of the COVID-19, different countries have come together and dispersed billions of dollars to contribute to the research and development of the COVID-19 vaccines and they arrived at three, three major vaccines which are in administration right now. So we have three major vaccines that are in administration. We have the BioNTech Pfizer vaccine which is made by an American German company and then we also have the Sputnik V vaccine which is or de was developed in Moscow and is now in and We also have the AstraZeneca vaccine which is made by a British Swedish company. So like every other medical treatment, um, the vaccination also has its own side effects and uh, the most general ones are fatigue, you have fever and sometimes even um, swelling at the site of injection. But this shows that the body is trying to fight against these weakened versions of the virus and trying to develop those antibodies that will help the next time the body is infected. And uh, these um, side effects should go after three days of uh, taking the vaccine. The British Swedish AstraZeneca vaccine caused a stir in that company where one person after clinical trials of the vaccine had inflammation of the spinal cord and due to that it caused a brief halt in the distribution of that vaccination. So an independent panel of experts came to the conclusion that that vaccination or that inflammation sorry would not have been caused by the vaccine. Since August 2020, um, the Russian Research Center came up with the Sputnik V vaccine that was approved immediately by the Russian Minister of Health and is currently under distribution and administration in different countries like Argentina, India and Belarus have already started administration of this COVID-19 vaccine created in Moscow. So the Sputnik V vaccine has been taken by 1.5 million people around the world and there have been so far no major side effects apart from the general side effects. And then finally, the biotech Pfizer vaccine was developed by an American and a German company and didn't show much side effects during the trial period apart from general side effects like um, fatigue and fever which was even less frequent in other patients. Okay, so I would personally advise you to take the vaccine as there have been vaccines in the past like the uh, yellow fever vaccine and meningitis vaccine that are very effective. But what would the marriage say? What would you say? Well, Arthur, on the contrary, I would disagree with you. Why? Because as much as I'm a medical doctor, I'm a Christian and I believe in some certain things. But what I will tell you is make sure you stay informed, make sure you know what you're collecting, and make sure you know the effect it has on your body. Do not allow anyone to impose the vaccine on you. Thank you. That's my answer. Next question Are you, you getting get vaccinated? vaccinated? Please answer in the comment section and uh, please ensure to leave a like to this video subscribe. and subscribe to our channel. Subscribe. Thank you.